Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Duck and I'm back with another fountain pen review. It's been a couple of years since I first heard of the Chinese fountain pen manufacturer Hongdian. The first few Hongdian pens I reviewed were slim metal pens with small nibs, but I was impressed with the quality of their construction. In 2022, Hongdian really started to make some models that made the pen world stand up and take notice. In fact, two of them will probably make my best of list this year. It felt to me that the people at Hongdian were really paying attention to the reception of their pen designs received from the pen community. That was confirmed for me recently when I was contacted by Hongdian offering a new model Hongdian fountain pen for review. And here it is. This is the Hongdian Solid Brass Black Forest Model 1861. And let's take a look at this new model right now. <music> So when you buy something from China these days, it just doesn't come through the mail system anymore. They're bypassing my national post office, and they might have a good reason for that. They're bypassing Canada Post and slapping a, a different sticker on it for a local courier service to deliver it to your door instead of going to your mailbox. So these stickers and tracking numbers don't line up with anything that I've ordered. Uh, I've got an idea what this might be, so... Let's see if my guess is correct about what this is. And it's in a pen BBS box. And it's not a pen BBS. Pen BBS uses these kind of aluminum boxes for special resin pens. But I've already received my pen BBS and there's no marking on it. So let's see what this might be. Aha! And now I know what this is. And it's a Hongdian new brass pen. I don't even know what the model name of this is. It's brass, all right. And it is called 1861 Pro. So this is the first time I've seen the model number 1861 Pro. And it pulls off. There we go. And we've got a medium Hongdian number five size nib. A Chinese standard converter. Oh, it posts with a click. Okay, it's uh, not as heavy as I expected. That clicking mechanism is very nice too. Oh, let's see the end here. Hongdian Black Forest 1861. Well, I'm looking forward to inking this pen up and trying it out. The Hongdian 1861 Pro. And what I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, some measurements, and then provide a writing sample. After the writing sample, please stay tuned as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. Overall, this is a slim fountain pen that is made of a very bright gold-colored brushed solid brass. It's cylindrical over its length, but flares slightly at the top finial. From the top, we see a concave finial with the deep engraving of Hongdian Black Forest 1861 with a dove or a phoenix or something there in the center and what looks to be a fountain pen nib as well. The cap tapers down with three grooves and then is straight to the end of the cap where there is another groove and it is engraved with LT Hongdian on the front and 1861 Pro on the back. The solid brass clip is a long straight rectangle with a wider groove at the top that becomes a smaller groove for the rest of the length. And it's nicely springy and extends from the cap. There's a minuscule step down to the barrel, which is straight over its length uh, till we get to the end finial where there's another groove and a step down of about a millimeter uh, to the end finial, which is straight to a domed bottom. And the entire pen is brushed in a horizontal pattern. The cap snaps on and off with a satisfying positive click and has just enough friction to keep it from spinning. Removing the cap, we see a long tapering brushed brass section that has a beveled tip towards a number five size steel Hongdian medium nib and black plastic feed. The section is not as slick as some metal sections as the brushed brass gives it a slight grip to it, which is good. And the brass isn't cold to the touch at all. Let's look more closely at this nib. 
it is a two-tone steel number five size nib uh, with a, a scrolly border in the chrome look and the rest of it in a gold look and then there's the Hongdian logo and an M for medium. The nib and feet are part of a nib assembly that unscrews easily for replacement or maintenance. The section unscrews to reveal the included Parker Lamy compatible converter. The converter is an upscale version uh, which can be disassembled for cleaning and has a spring agitator in there to break up any surface tension and keep the ink flowing. But you can pull this little chrome collar off of that converter like that and pull out the piston and add some silicone grease get a q-tip inside there to clean it out that kind of thing is very convenient and then you just slip the collar back on again and because the converter is a lamy parker sized you can put a parker long cartridge a lamy long cartridge or a Parker short with another Parker short in the barrel piggyback just like that which makes it very convenient one thing I would have liked to have seen is Hongdian has done this before on some metal on metal sections uh, where they put a small silicone o-ring right there to keep this barrel from unscrewing the inside of the cap shows a black plastic seal that keeps the nib from evaporating the cap posts with a positive click which is really nice making it very very stable and it doesn't spin on the end of that barrel at all and it's very stable and secure it does make the pen very long in the hand but if you don't mind holding the pen further back on the barrel the pen is slim enough to balance just like this just like this in my hand it's balanced and actually I don't mind writing with it like this I'm uh, very surprised I actually enjoy this length in my hand unposted the pen is plenty long enough to write with comfortably now since this pen is a solid brushed brass it will develop a patina over time and use your finger oils will cause the brass to darken where it is touched you might like this you might not if you don't like it when it starts to get dull or dark just turn the brass in the direction of the brushing with a piece of quadruple aught steel wool that's zero 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 steel wool just grip it in your hand like this and give it a few turns and it will brighten up to its previous luster that's inquiring minds tip number 246 for you how to polish your brass knob here comes Colin Frizzle and he's got a big knob you're welcome the Hongdian Black Forest Brass 1861 is available at various online stores from eBay to Etsy and AliExpress. It's generally in the $20 US range and has three nib options, EF, F, and M. I'm really pleased that they're starting to add the medium nib as an option on many of these Chinese pens lately. Now let's look at some size comparisons. Here is the Hongdian Black Forest Solid Brass 1861 with a Jinhao 35, a Moonman TI-200 Titanium, a Wingsong 601 Flighter, and a 1925 Wall Eversharp 641A. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. The Jinhao has a Lamy style nib. Both the Moonman TI-200 and the Wingsong 601 Flighter have hooded nibs which I replaced with Bobby Bent nibs and I anodized the TI 200 titanium to get these cool colors the wall is gold filled with a 14 karat gold nib and it's a lever filler now let's look at them unposted and here they are unposted they are all long enough to write with comfortably unposted now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample <music> And we're back with the writing portion of the review this is Claire Fontaine 90 GSM paper and this is the Hongdian Black Forest 
1861 and it has a number five size medium steel nib let's check the wetness it's decently wet right out of the box and very very smooth very little feedback this is very nice and the ink today is one of 19 pen bbs ink samples sent to me by viewer ken crooker he felt it was a shame that given i was such a fan of pen bbs i didn't have any pen bbs inks so he sent a bunch of samples for me and here is the ink swatched on tomoe river paper as you can see it's a, a bright yellow orange uh, that shades to red and has a lot of sparkle to it gold glitter to it and it's called pen bbs 111 shanghai maybe you can there you can see it there you can see the shimmer i thought it matched the bright gold look of this brass pen nicely so thanks very much for your generous gift ken i should explain that you can't get pen bbs inks from china as they won't ship liquids like bottles of ink internationally but van s pens in little rock arkansas carries pen bbs but the shipping to canada is more than a price of a single bottle of pen bbs ink so i've never been able to purchase one so the ink again is pen bbs number one 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 shanghai and the line this nib makes is 0 0.5 millimeters which on my richard binder chart is a western fine or a japanese fine to medium and for our quote And for some reverse writing. It's a little bit scratchier, but it actually works. M much, much drier. And for some quick writing. actually keeping up very nicely I'm very impressed with this little nib so what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen I'm not typically a fan of metal pens however there are exceptions my Wingsung 601 flighter is always inked and goes out with me often and when I was given a solid copper modern fuel bolt-action ballpoint pen and matching pencil to review I love the solid metal the heft the engineering and the quality of those writing instruments so much I gifted them to my kids for Christmas and they're happily using them every day and this Hongdian brass pen is in that same category it's so extremely well engineered and well balanced easy in the hand that I quite enjoy writing with it it helps the nib is so smooth and wet right out of the box and that's the other thing I'm I'm not fond of number five size nibs typically I prefer big nibs and I cannot lie. I like big butts and I cannot lie. But this number five nib is perfectly proportioned to this slim pen. I like the way the cap snaps open and closed with a positive click and doesn't spin. And I really like the way they've engineered the cap to post on the barrel like that so nicely without spinning and solidly with a click. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. The fact that it will take Lamy and Parker cartridges is another bonus for those that prefer cartridges. And there you have it. Thanks go out to Lee at Hongdian for providing this pen to me for review. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And please look in the description for a link to Goldspot pens as I'm now an affiliate of the online store. And when you shop at Goldspot using my link, 
you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you. You can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section and you'll get cool emojis, badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves for me to say, thank you. For watching. And that's all she wrote.